the final exercise, some 11 months after the commissioning course began. Confirmation that the Sandhurst cadets have acquired the military skills and the style of leadership essential in tomorrow's peacekeepers. Enthusiastic young men and women with the skill and character to lead soldiers effectively by example and influence. Follow the sign, it says Blending Company Angelo, and go in there and you'll be processed. The commissioning course brings together young men and women from the United Kingdom and more than 30 overseas countries. Most will be graduates. All will have some experience of the outside world. And the leadership potential already identified in them will be developed during their year at the academy. Blenheim 2, Mr. Ronders. Income 3, Mr. Brown. Waterloo 1, Mr. Mitchell. Blenheim 2, Mr. Ronders. Waterloo 3, Mr. Peake. I sincerely welcome you to Sandhurst and to the college. You're going to go out of here with a warm feeling of what being an army officer is all about, hopefully, and that really is my aim. So this evening is your introduction to leadership. You, sir. We've got the 5.56 millimeter rifle. Right, let's now deal with the aids judging distance. These are not methods, they are classed as aids to assist you in judging distance. Another method of judging distance. We're taking the cadets after three weeks out of what is almost a civilian environment. We've had a couple of weeks to take them from their civilian clothes into uniform, teach them a few basics, and start actually letting them see each other as a team, whether it's a section, a platoon, or company. We're in a hurry. Term one is knowledge. We've got to give them that knowledge very, very quickly so that they can go into term two and three and develop the leadership. And what we hope in this one week is to teach him a degree of basic field craft, develop his leadership through command tasks, and also allow him to look at himself by being under, I suppose, a degree of stress. The weather hasn't been too kind. They've had a bit of rain. So self-reliance, three weeks into the term, um, really is, let's get out and about. I suppose it's a bit like a football team. You can only say so much in the classroom. You've got to get out and kick a football. And really, we're out at the moment kicking that football. This is the passing off the square parade, some five weeks into the course, where the bearing of the cadets is assessed in groups and individually. Those that pass may now venture outside the academy. Using modern methods where possible, the theoretical training continues, soon for practical application. You want to take that path down to the, down to the main road and then go straight across from there? Down to the main road, go 600 metres south. Week six, long reach, the cadets' first physically testing leadership exercise. Day and night marching, interspersed with challenging command tasks. With little time for sleep, body and brain grow weary. Performance is at risk, but points must be amassed for the inter-platoon competition. So the long march towards leadership continues. As knowledge and stamina develop, military tactics will shortly be added to the training formula. A wider aspect of training is the arms and services exhibition where first-term cadets are given the opportunity to see what all sections of the army do and to talk with the people involved. And if we can convince anyone here that the engineers is the way forward, then 
it would involve you as well. Something like 216 appeals to you. You could be going off and doing that for a first tour. Be able to detect. Um, Career plans will be confirmed or changed, and the additional knowledge will prove invaluable in the years ahead. That's it, going well. No, 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 that's it, looking good. <laughs> The culmination of the Term 1 inter-platoon competition is the steeplechase. Keep pushing it hard, don't give up, you've got to keep going! Star running qualities are not on test, rather maximum individual effort in the service of the team. The Banner Parade, the formal conclusion to the Sovereign's Platoon competition, takes place during terms two and three. Many events will have been covered, embracing physical and military skills, and the banner will now find a new home displayed in the quarters of the winning platoon. Keep going. Come on, come on, guys! Come on. Keep pushing. For one group of cadets, the commissioning course still lies ahead. This is Row Allen Company, where youngsters with obvious but unrealized leadership potential are given the chance to attain the high standard required for entry to Sandhurst. Their 10-week course places them under great physical and mental stress, creating ideal circumstances for leadership development. As confidence grows, so do the opportunities to lead. Some 65% of the Royalan cadets will pass on to the commissioning course. First of all, we're talking about threats to peace, actual aggression, and breaches of the peace. Academic studies feature strongly throughout the Sandhurst year. To the basic military knowledge absorbed in Term 1 are added lectures on contemporary affairs, advanced war studies with particular reference to leadership, and even the skills of communication in an increasingly media-conscious world. Type of expedition. I was going to make comments like, well, you know, money's more, um, less important than life, don't you feel this and everything, and you just didn't come out with them. Sure, right. Military communications are also developed in the classroom. One zero. And if they're wrecking your positions with fighters already, what do you reckon one of the largest threats to you is going to be? NBC attack. India Delta Yankee. Request fire mission. Over. They've learnt the basics on section attacks. We're now putting them under pressure by having live ammunition and seeing how they react to that situation when they're tired, exhausted, and keep keeping going that way. Oh, We're using infantry tactics as a basis for leadership, <coughs> and uh, they have to understand that before we can assess their leadership uh, values. Right, closing. Right. We're being sent out as point section of three platoon, OK? We've got a good section here. Um, we've worked together quite a lot now for this term. Uh, no problems that I can see. The only problems could be breakdown in communications, especially live firing is a bit dangerous, but should be OK. Safe stuff, very good. The training includes a wide and varied sporting programme, with many intersection competitions. 
Matches are also arranged each term with Dartmouth and Cranwell. Probably be a skit of some sort, yeah, but um, it's just basically a lecture. <laughs> yes, it is. But the style of this logistics lecture proves unexpected and effective. Skill at Arms is another discipline where imaginative presentation encourages interest and expertise. The firing point, they're going to go straight down to pole position. Here on his right target. Here we go, point down they go. This is the falling plates event that rounds off the year's major shooting competition. It is organised and run entirely by the cadets. Well into term three now, and theory and study are put to the test. No! Get this man behind the cordon! Get this man behind the cordon now! Get off, Get off, man! There's always a safety problem with this, and one has to be very, very careful about how we control the civilian population to make sure that each incident develops in exactly the way we want it. But as you can see, the cadets are under pressure, they're being tested, they're being assessed, but it's up to the civilian population, the controlled civilian population, to produce the effect I want. Just kill your baby! Oh, 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 in parallel with practical experience, practical skills in military administration are developed. And then see it then get out. Good. Out. All right, let's go forward. A year's intensive training is coming to its conclusion, and the cadets are on the threshold of their commissions. Yes! Now that final exercise, and the challenge of an overseas location. We don't want to be burdened down with a lot of kits. Certainly Two weeks of tactical exercises, preparing the cadets for full responsibility for the final battalion attack. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We don't want everyone to be he heavily burdened with unnecessary kit. A long march takes them through the night to mount the assault at first light. Traditionally, the conclusion of the exercise marks the proud transition to a new career and a well-earned commission. A commission in the army is a position of responsibility and privilege. Past achievements and sacrifices are the foundation for the work that must be done tomorrow. And formal ceremonies, like the Colours to Chapel service, remind young officers-to-be of their perspective in history. The commissioning dinner, the last of several formal dinners attended, is by far the most significant. This is an occasion both to celebrate and to reflect on the company's performance and achievements. I want to, to pay tribute to uh, what you have done whilst you have been at Sandhurst, Normandy Company. Uh, Following the college commander's review come some lighter observations by the winner of the Sword of Honour. A certain Mr. Charles Langer is lost in space. <laughs> Major Langdon has told us the same joke approximately 16 times. <laughs> Mr. 
Within minutes now, the commissioning course will draw to its world-famous conclusion. And after that, a new batch of young officers will be ready to join their units the world over. The year's training at Sandhurst will have added to their enthusiasm, sound military knowledge, devotion to duty, and the fullness of character necessary to uphold the Academy's motto, serve to lead.